Hi everybody. Um, this uh, little video is going to be how to use uh, Beaver Builder along with Dynamic Website Builder and Genesis in WordPress. And this is on how to use uh, the columns features, uh, specifically uneven columns. Uh, the first one is fairly straightforward. It's when you get more than two that things uh, are a little bit trickier and only if you uh, don't know the trick and let's go see we can show you how to do that and a big thanks to uh, Ben over at Beaver Builder uh, for uh, taking the time and effort to figure out how to do this so start off let's uh, start a new page I'm going to call it uneven columns. And we'll go down here, make it full width. And uh, let's just publish that. Now we've got it. Uh, let's go right into Page Builder. We'll start out with just a simple one two columns, drag that out. That's easy enough to do. Uh, for this exercise, uh, we're going to do a 70 30 uh, split. Oh, I selected the row and not the column. Uh, 50%. Let's put that to 70. And that one makes it 30. Sure enough. Well, that's easy enough to do. But now, what we want to do is have this one 70. We want to split this up into two 15% uh, columns. So let's go add a, another set of row, a row uh, and a three column row. Hide that. Now the order is uh, the main thing to consider here. You start at the right most column, set that to 15, now you come over to the left most, set that to 70, and lo and behold, you now have two 15% columns and a 70. Well, that's not too bad. But now you got to dig out your slide rule if you want to go past those three columns. So let's go to the next one and drag a four column layout onto the page. Now, uh, without Ben's uh, timely advice, uh, I'd still be here trying to figure this out. So. We have four columns now, each of 25%. So we start at the third column from the left. And we need to set this to 40. Why 40, you ask? Well, it was 25, and it needs to take 15 from the column to the right. It takes the deficient of value and you add it to it. That makes sense. Let's follow through here. So we save that. Now you come to the next one that's to the left and set its value. It's at 25 now, but you also need the three the fifteen from the other one, the very right most and the one next to it so you need to add 30 to that to make this 55 and you save that now you come over here to the left one and set it to 70 and there you have your three 10 percent columns and one 70% column.
of course, now that we've uh, got this uh, multi-column layout, let's uh, go ahead and uh, put it to use to show you how uh, this works. Go back to uh, content. And uh, this, uh, I'm just going to use the uh, modules that come in the basic or light or free version of Beaver Builder. Uh, so you can go right ahead and try this yourself. Uh, so let's uh, pop in a text editor here and we'll plunk in some text I have on the clipboard. And there's that part. And for here, we're going to add a photo. Drag that in. Select one that I happen to have here. And just accept the defaults. And you know what? We're going to just uh, knock these down a little bit. That's, uh, yeah, these for sure. And save that. Okay, that was easy. Well, now here's uh, some of the power of Beaver Builder. Uh, let's just uh, duplicate this. And we're going to take this and drag it into here. And seeing as how that's going to be the same in all our rows, Duplicate it again, and then drag it into the last one. Same with our little fellow over here. Let's just duplicate him, and it will. Let's stack it. Why not? Uh, and again, and we'll take this copy, drag it there, and uh, do -do 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 duplicate. Move it over here. Now we could duplicate those again, like that. Oop, column setting, wrong one. Uh, duplicate, duplicate. You seen just uh, how easy this is to work with? Uh, that's why I like it. And uh, duplicate again. Here. And again, move that there, and it's just a matter of duplicate, duplicate, and again, and what the heck, you want the third batch, do that. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Oh, except uh, we're going to add one more here. Uh, just to make it look like uh, one other thing we were looking at earlier. Uh, we're going to add this guy in. And yeah, it sort of looks like that. We can uh, adjust some margins in that. And of course you can play around with that as much as you like to get it the way you want, but that's pretty much how easy it is to work with this. Publish changes, and let's go look in the front end, front end, refresh, and there's our uneven columns page. Yeah, it's just that easy. Okay, thanks for watching.